Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and yes, I have not forgotten my iPhone 3GS owners, and in this video I will be showing you guys how to unlock your iPhone 3GS on iOS 6 with Ultra Snow absolutely free. And this video will help you guys fix any errors such as no service or searching, or maybe your iPhone is stuck on the activation screen just like this. I know a lot of people are having this problem, where your iPhone is just stuck on the screen and you cannot activate it, even if you have a valid SIM card. And this video will show you guys how to activate your iPhone, bypass this and unlock your iPhone on iOS 6. Yes, this unlock will allow your iPhone to run on any carrier, international or here in the USA on T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, or any GSM network. Now this video is for people that do not have an AT&T iPhone 3GS. The only reason you're watching this video if you do have an AT&T iPhone 3GS is because you either do not have $5 to pay for a factory unlock which is permanent and cannot be removed or you guys are stuck on this screen right here and you cannot get past it. Otherwise, if you guys do have an AT&T iPhone 3GS, please, please click on this annotation right here and it'll take you to my factory unlock video which will show you guys how to get a permanent AT&T iPhone 3GS unlock. So to sum it all up, this unlock will work on any iPhone that does have the 5.16.07 baseband or the 6.15.00 baseband on iOS 6. And this will not work on every iPhone. The newer iPhones do have a new baseband chip which is not compatible with this unlock and I will show you guys how to determine whether or not your 3GS does have the new baseband Baseband chip. If you do try to do this unlock with the new baseband chip, your iPhone 3GS will get bricked. So you want to make sure you do not have the new baseband iPhone 3GS. And the jailbreak that you do get with this unlock is tethered, meaning if you turn your iPhone off or your battery dies, you will need to go into Red Snow and tether boot it using a special part of Red Snow that's very easy. However, this is untethered for old boot ROM 3GSs. And if you guys don't know if you have an old boot ROM 3GS, you can learn how to find out in the description down below. Now, in order to determine whether or not your iPhone iPhone is compatible with what we are about to do, you guys have to take a look at the serial code. So go into settings, general, about, scroll down to your serial code, which will be right here. And we want to take a look at the third, fourth, and fifth numbers. For me, that's one, two, one. Now what the third number means for me, which is a one, is basically the year your iPhone was made in. For me, it's a one, which means 2011. If you guys have a two, that's 2012, nine would be 2009, and zero is 2010. Now the fourth and fifth numbers basically mean the week number your iPhone iPhone was made in. For me, it's 21. So my iPhone was made on the 21st week of 2011. Now you guys want to make sure that your iPhone was made on or before the 34th week of 2011. So that would be 134. If your iPhone was made on or after the 35th week of 2011, you cannot do this or else your iPhone will become bricked. So you guys want to make sure you do have that down. Make sure your iPhone does not have the new baseband chip. If you guys didn't understand this, I will elaborate in the description down below. So you guys want to check that out. Now, if you guys can't get into your iPhone because it's stuck on the activation screen, you can look on the back of your SIM card tray and your serial code will be right there. With all that being said, let's go ahead and begin. On your desktop, you guys will need to download two things, Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 2, which is the latest version for either Mac or Windows, and your iOS 6.0 IPSW firmware file. Both links can be found down below in the description where you will find a link to a written guide as well as all of the links you need there. With your iPhone plugged in, go ahead and run Red Snow. If you're on Windows, you want to right click it and select Run as Administrator. On a Mac, go ahead and run it. You want to go to Extras, select IPSW, and select your 6.0 firmware file that you did download. Select OK. I'm going to go back and select Jailbreak. It will load for just a second. And here you want to make sure Install Cydia is checked and we're going to check Install iPad Baseband. And this is where it asks you whether or not you do have the old baseband iPhone 3GS. You want to select yes because we did already check. And even if you guys do have the 6.15 baseband already, you still want to make sure Install iPad Baseband is checked. We are updating to it and then we will be downgrading back to 5.13.04 so that we can get GPS working on iOS 6. Anyways, with those two checked, you want to select next, and now we're going to power off our iPhone. Now on Red Snow, you want to click next and immediately press the power button on your iPhone for 3, 2, 1. Hold it together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you do see that Redstone recognizes your iPhone and begins jailbreaking it. Your iPhone will reboot and you guys want to go ahead and set up the iOS 6 activation menu if you haven't already. Otherwise on Red Snow we're going to click back, going to go to jailbreak and this time we're going to select downgrade from iPad baseband. And you still want to make sure install Cydia is checked. So check that and click next. Now go ahead and power off your iPhone. And again on Red Snow you're going to click next. You're going to hold the power for 3, 2, 1 on your iPhone together with the home button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you do see that Red Snow begins downgrading your iPad baseband. And this will take about 10 minutes. Once it's done I'll be right back. After your 3GS reboots it will be on the iOS 6 activation menu for some reason and again and you guys want to go ahead and just go through it and select start using iPhone if for whatever reason it does not let you go through it you guys want to go back and select jailbreak without any other option just select jailbreak and then go ahead and activate your iPhone but for most of you you should be able to go right through and now if we go to settings general about we can see that our baseband has been downgraded to 5.13.04 now the only thing left to do is tether boot our iPhone install Cydia and install the ultra snow patch so in red snow you're going to go to the extra menu and in the extras menu you're going to go to just boot tethered right now again we are going to be putting our iPhone into DFU mode so you want to power it off and go ahead and put it into DFU mode by now you guys should know you know hold the power button for three two one together with the home button for 10 seconds let go of the power button and continue holding the home button once you reboot you will have Cydia on your springboard now this tether boot that you guys just performed you're gonna to have to do this every single time your battery dies or if you guys need to reboot your device and to make things easier you can select auto boot this device when it connects into DFU mode. So every time you just put your device into DFU mode, Red Snow will automatically tether boot it. Anyways, go ahead and slide to unlock. And you guys will now have Cydia on your springboard. So you guys want to go ahead and set it up. In Cydia, we are going to be adding a source. So go to manage, sources, edit, add, and we're going to add the following source. Once you've got that in, select add source. I already have it. And you guys are want to go ahead and enter that repository. Inside, you will find Ultra Snow Fixer for 6.0. You do want to install this first before installing Ultra Snow. So go ahead and confirm that, and it will return a couple errors. That's okay. You'll select Return to Cydia, and then you want to search for Ultra Snow. Once you do find it, you also want to install it. Go ahead and confirm it. And once this is done, it'll ask you to respring. Now, after respringing, go ahead and put in the SIM card of your choice into the iPhone and give it about two to five minutes until it does find your carrier service. And there you go, my iPhone 3GS has found T-Mobile's network, and you guys are now unlocked on your iPhone 3GS on iOS 6.0. Do keep in mind that this is a tether jailbreak for now for most iPhone 3GS owners. Anyways, I did have to go through a lot to bring you guys this video. Please like and favor, it does help me in return, and if you guys have any kind of questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them and subscribe for many more iOS 6 videos to come. Enjoy your iOS 6 unlock, guys. Have a great day. Peace.